Hello everyone, welcome back to more Lunar. We got some time to play. Let's do it. Last episode, the shit went down. Uh, we climbed to the top of the Crystal Tower. Apparently the Vile Tribe. Um, yeah, I, I saw the Vile Tribe one time. They opened for the Wu-Tang Clan. Um, apparently they are plotting to start a war. Uh, and they're doing so with our uh, three awesome Charlie's Angels evil chicks. Uh, Zenobia, uh, Mary Jane, and... Uh, Carly Sue. Um, and so now we have to escort uh, Galleon, who is not in our party. Um, awesome. And also I did not uh, heal. So, yep, JRPG noob. Uh, too busy running my mouth. Uh, anyway, now we're taking Master Galleon back to our hometown. So back to Moravia first. And we have to go talk to Hellmel, I believe. While we're here, we might as well let Hillmel know that uh, we met Jessica and that she is awesome. And oh, let's go check on uh, let's go check on her boy. How's he doing? How's the how's business? Hey, bud. I haven't been back to Bergen so long. Do you ever miss it, Alex? I know I do it sometimes. What? If you see my dad, tell him my business is doing great. Nope, not gonna do it, man. I'm gonna let you handle your dad issues. Man. I'm not getting involved. Welcome to Ramus' store! Ram look at my boy! He done recruited the bunnies from the, <laughs> from the karaoke bar to bring business in. So funny. I appreciate the hustle. Welcome to Ramus' store, Green Eyes! I only wish that you were on sale. Okay, alright. Alright, you got me. Ooh, new stuff. Oh, that's right. I think I already have this. I just forgot to equip it. Uh, healing fruit. Holy water, nothing. Oh, yeah, I think I'm good. Thank you for your business. <laughs> Welcome to Raisins. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Put my stuff back on. The rune blade. I think the rune blade's gonna be better than that silver blade. How about you, man? You still working here? I hate to admit this, but Ramus is already a better businessman than I ever was. Yeah, he hasn't stolen anything from anybody or raised creepy dragons in the basement. He's even talking about opening up stores in other cities. He calls it franchising. That's awesome. It sounds like Ramus is doing wonderfully, Alex. I wonder if he's going to open a store in Berg. I hope not. There's nobody there. It's not a good spot for business. Alright. Mm, do I remember where Mel's mansion is? I think it's right up here. Yeah, we're good. Hey, the crew's all here. And that is everything I know of the situation as it stands at the moment. Visiting the White Dragon to gather more information is quite prudent at this time. For you see, I suspect that the Magic Emperor aspires to the rank of Dragon Master. However, only Quark would know that for certain. The Magic Emperor. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's not okay. My favorite voice in the game, and I lost it. Not gonna happen. I, the Magic Emperor. That's a frightening thought. The fact that he hijacked Lamia's powers lends weight to your argument, though. Suddenly, I'm a little more Irish. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> hey, Jessica. You guys. What? Huh? Dad. It looks like we have guests. Oh, Alex, welcome. I had your story from Galleon. How did you do in vain? Oh, before I forget, this is my daughter, Jessica. Jessica, aren't you going to say hello? I don't know why I never gave Jessica a Scottish accent either, but now is the time. Of course, father. How do you do, Alex? My father has told me much about you. I sound a little too much like that girl from Brave. <laughs> hello. <laughs> what are you talking about, Jessica? Do you have a brain cramp or something? What is a brain cramp? And what a fascinating creature you brought with you, Alex. No, shut up. <laughs> Alright, who do we want to talk to first? At last, you made it. Hey, look at him, he's, got, he's so excited. At last, you made it. There's no new time to waste. We need a Dragon Master. <laughs> I hesitated to become one because of Dime. 
but I can't let my personal feelings prevent me from doing what must be done. We have to meet with Quark and determine the locations of the other dragons. Well, he didn't tell me originally, so good luck. I see so here you're traveling in hopes of becoming a dragon master. How absolutely wonderful. The next time you're in the area, I'd love to sit down and talk with you about your adventures. Just come with me. Damn it, Jessica. Oh, what's with the act, Jessica? Just the other day, we were in the... Shut your trap, no. What a cute little kitty. How does he talk? <laughs> yeah. She does not want Daddy to know she's out of adventuring. I... What do you think, lad? Isn't my daughter the most beautiful lass you ever set your eyes on? She's got your teeth, man. And that scares me. I only hope she can get over her shyness. No, definitely not. No. <laughs> uh, Mel's not very good at keeping a straight face. I should help him out. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, so is that it? We're done? Onward? If we fail, the Magic Emperor will surely become invincible and destroy this world. This mission is therefore of the utmost importance. I must meet with Quark at once. Dun, 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 Aye, the ship to Homo Lyle isn't ready yet, but the sailors are working as quickly as they can. They said they'd be ready to sail by tomorrow morning. Dad, why don't you let me and Alex and his friends stay here tonight? I'd love to hear their tales of adventure. That's a fine idea, Jessica. But you won't get scared by the stories, will you? I'll be fine, Dad. Yeah, no, trust me. She'll be fine. Alright then. Make yourself at home. do 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 Oh, is this Jessica's room? It's very colorful. Here's my room, guys. Relax. Take a load off. Uh, are you feeling okay? Uh, one second you're you, and the next you're completely different. She's playing her dad, man. Calm down. Hi. Yes, I feel the fine, though. You don't get it, do ya? Do ya? What was that? Do ya? <laughs> These accents, man. I gotta quit. Of course I remember you. I just couldn't say anything in front of my dad. Uh, why not, Jessica? I, my father just always tells me how much I remind him of my mom. If he knew that I was really like him, and that I was sneaking out of the shrine to go on my own adventures, he would yell. He'd freak out, and I'd be grounded until I was like 50. So, um, she's like, what do you call it? Have they, have they made a name of it? Like, Beast Person? I think they name dropped it one time randomly, but I don't remember what it was. I wonder what their lifespan is. How do you stand it? I could never keep my true self hidden away. You did for years, Luna. Like, oh, there's nothing special about me, but I can heal people. Not from someone who cared for me as your father cares for you. Aww. Hey, so what happened to you guys in vain? No one's sleeping until I get every unsavory detail. You would have known if you came with me. You had no reason not to. You just deuced out. Uh, well, <laughs> meanwhile... Look at our boys' trousers, by the way. They're cinched up tight. Like, all this new armor we bought, we couldn't get him some new pants? Maybe some that would fit him? Those aren't Dragon Master pants. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Too funny. Uh, so everyone's at the shrine was enchanted by the spell? How embarrassing. <laughs> you're lucky you skipped out of school that day. What? I don't know what you're talking about, no. <laughs> yep. Skipper. We got anything in here? I like her stuffed animals. What are those? Well, let me talk to him. That's fine. Galleon's a great magician, but he can't be expected to do this all by himself. Alex, I think you should talk to Quark, too, and find out what would you can from him. Anyway, for dinner tonight, I'm going to whip you all up a special something. Oh, my girl cooks! <laughs> are you a good cook, Jess? Uh, of course I am. She's not. You just leave the cooking to me. <laughs> great, I'm starving. Oh, no. Are we going to get sick before we have to go on a road trip? Hi. <laughs> it may not seem like it, but I've been feeling pretty good about my cooking skills as of late. Who knew the basics of cooking could be so stressful and relaxing at the same time? It's utterly mind-bending. It's time to make something with a taste that'll blow your minds. Clang, clang, <laughs> All right, now I'm on a roll. Ah, <laughs> uh, you couldn't be more wrong, you boneheaded womanizing drunkard. You didn't know the more you tenderized the meat, the better it tastes, did you? 
Who's she talking to? Hmm. What else does this need? Well, whatever. Cooking is all about the love you put into it. Oh no, she's going freeform with the ingredients. Hey, that's obviously what people say. Don't think. Feel the emotion. Uh oh. This is a little too well done. No worries though, it's all going to the same place. <laughs> Maybe I can cover up the taste with a smidgen of sugar. Oh, it's all about the subtle flavors anyway. Oh right, she... <laughs> Look at that face. Jess is pissed. What's this? And this? A moderate amount? A tad? I. how much is this supposed to be, you stupid book? <laughs> uh, Alex, Jessica's really making food, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I hope so. I, uh, I just started having a real bad feeling about this. Don't worry, no. It's not like anything's gonna explode, right guys? <laughs> uh oh, it's about to explode. I take that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jess. She's a terrible cook. I am really sorry about this, everyone. <laughs> Don't sweat it. <laughs> that dinner they had cook made for us after that was the best I've ever had. Oh man, poor Jess. <laughs> She's gonna cry. There's no need to be down on yourself, Jessica. You can always try again, right? I hope not. I'm pathetic, aren't I? My father always told me about how perfect of a woman my mother was. Despite the fact that I'm her daughter. Why do things always end up like this? I'm sure if my father knew about my rough side, he'd be disappointed. I don't think I could handle it if he... Just tell him. <laughs> Jess... Hi. I'm sorry to be rambling on like that. Everyone just forget what I said, okay? You've got a long boat ride ahead of you to get to Hummel tomorrow. Why don't you all get some rest? You're more than welcome to use this room. There's not enough beds in here, Jess. I knew we'd be returning home, Alex, but not with Galleon as our escort. I guess our adventure is coming to an end. I mean, doubt that. <laughs> Number 23. <laughs> Man, I am pooped. Good night, Noel, and good night, Alex. Night, Luna. Uh oh. Meanwhile, in Dreamland. Is that the same one from last time? It looks similar. We get it. Dine's my dad. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Mouth agape, just snoring. <laughs> oh, look at Noel curled up. That's adorable. Good morning. Huh? What? Shit. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, drooling. Yeah. Good morning, Luna. Huh? You're looking a little pale. Is everything all right? I had that dream again. Oh, that's all it is, Luna. Just a dream. I know, but you're, you're all right, Alex. Let's just bid farewell to Master Mel. Hey, Alex, did you sleep well? I sure did. Galleon's probably waiting for you at the harbor. Better not keep him. Later, guys. Bye, Jess. Mel, talk to your daughter. There's nothing like, like more to sell with you to Galleon. But it's best I stay here. In these troubled times, the citizens are already starting to get scared. If I left, it might start a panic. And we don't want that, lad. Jess, talk to your dad. Hi, please take care of yourselves and come back soon. I'll pray to the goddess to keep you all safe. Since I study at the shrine, my prayers get first priority. <laughs> Hilarious. Someone give this girl an Oscar. So wait, is that canon? The Academy Awards exist in this <laughs> timeline? <laughs> so Luna does have the option to win for best song for a motion picture. Alright, to the docks. Which are this way? <laughs> this dude's passed out. <laughs> Did you say Galleon? <laughs> That's a fine brand of liquor. <laughs> Galleon brand of liquor? What are you talking about, you drunken bum? <laughs> I think I need to go try some of that. Galleon, you ready, bud? Good morning. I trust you slept well. Are you ready to set sail? Uh, yeah, let's get it. Then let us depart. Post haste. I am counting on you, Alex of Berg. Oh no, is that my name? Am I Alex of Berg? Once again, we take to the seas. 
So, tell me, what drives you to become the Dragon Master? What leads you to attempt what so many others before you have tried and failed to achieve? Well, um... Pelvic thrust. <laughs> hmm? 24? Well, I want to protect the people of our world and the people I care about. How very noble of you. But the Dragon Master's power is meant for much more than mere protection. And the magnitude of his responsibility to wield that power well is immeasurable. May I ask another question of you? Uh, of course, Master Galleon. Pelvic thrust. If you had to choose between the survival of the one you cared about the most, or the lives of everyone in our world, which would it be? One, one or many? Love or duty? Uh, how could I? How could anyone make that choice? Pelvic thrust. A dragon master is forced to make such choices every day of his existence. But we're getting considerably ahead of ourselves, aren't we? Yeah, very much so. You're not a dragon master yet. Not even close. Easy, easy. Think about my question during your travels, boy. All right, man, stop talking down to me. The closer you are to becoming a dragon master, the more important it is to answer. By the way, Luna, so renowned is your singing voice that word of your abilities has spread all the way to Vane. When reach Berg, I would desire nothing more than to listen to you sing. Did she not sing uh, at the... No, that's right, she just watched him play guitar. I don't think my voice is that special, but I'd be honored to sing for you, Master Galleon. I look forward to it, Luna, and there's no need to be modest about your talent. You have a gift. You should be share it with the world. <laughs> Look, Alex, over there on the edge of the horizon. It's Scythe. It's so good to be back home. Yeah, show us the cutscene. Oh, no cutscene. <laughs> well, my brother can hope. Well, what a quaint little hollow this is. You've never been here before? You look tired, boy, but as I say, evil never sleeps. Take me to the cave of the white dragon. I'm anxious to catch up with dear Quark. All right. Are you a legit party member? Oh, he is! He's level 99, too. Awesome. I feel like I should take this advantage, too, and do some leveling up. No, can't. I'm back at level 1 area, so... Hey, I was looking for you kids. Thanks to you, I closed the deal made a fort. Oh, good! I'm glad we helped you, man. Here's the... Oh, thanks. Well, I'm glad we chatted. <laughs> If I ever need your help again, I'll promise I'll make it even more worth your while. Oh, good. I'm glad I could help, man. How are things, Dark Master? Hi. Hi. How are you guys? Thanks for all you've done. Business is booming again. It can't be, is it? It is. It's Galleon, one of the four heroes. Welcome to Saith. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I roll with uh, some VIPs from time to time. Mostly it's just random kids who leave my party too fast, though. I wonder if they'll let me skip the forest. Highly doubt it. Nope, gotta go back through the ghetto woods. Son of a bitch. I think... Surely I'll be able to skip by everybody. Or not. And I'm back. All right. Phone calls during recording is the worst. So let's do a battle with Galleon real fast. I kind of want to see what he's... What kind of skills he's got. Just how badly I can wreck these assholes. Ticka, 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 ticka. All right. No, you're just going to defend. <laughs> Just defend. Hi, right, Galleon. What you got, homie? Explode, Nitro Dagger, Tornado, and Rock and Roll. Rock and Roll, baby. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. So it only did 200 damage. I guess I kind of expected more from a level 99, dude. Maybe they just weren't weak to it. They were plants. Awesome. 
Do do do. I do love this music for this creepy forest. Alright, I think the way out is this way. Nope. It's definitely this way. And then to the right. Let's see if I can get past these. Nope, nope. We can get there, I promise. Alright, let's try out his other stuff. This is cool. Yeah, you know what to do. Just defend. Alright, now let's try a tornado. Ooh, I like that one. That one only does about 200 too. Maybe they nerfed him for this section of the game. Or maybe you just never really get super high damage levels in this game. Alright, uh, what, what did we have left? Nitro Dagger or something? <laughs> Look at Alex hiding out in the bush. Defend. Defend. Alright, last one. Uh, Nitro Dagger? Yep. Let's try this. Ooh, that one's pretty cool. I like that one. Ooh, that one does the damage. Alright, Nitro Dagger. That's the one to go for. Doo doo doo. Creepy Forest. The Ghetto Woods. Back to the world map, and then back to the house. Awesome. So, next episode, we uh, go check in with mom and pop. Later.